Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA invited social media members November 18th and 19th to the agency's Armstrong Flight Research Center for a two-day event highlighting the ways NASA is with you when you fly. The NASA Social gave participants an exclusive look at the latest tools and technologies being developed to improve the efficiency, safety, and adaptability of air transportation. The next crew bound for the International Space Station continued final training in Kazakhstan in preparation for a November 23rd Eastern Standard Time launch aboard a Soyuz spacecraft. NASA's Terry Virts and crewmates Anton Shkoplerov of the Russian Federal Space Agency and Samantha Kristofa-Reddy of the European Space Agency are scheduled for a five-and-a-half-month mission on board the ISS. Meanwhile, Space Station Commander Barry Wilmore of NASA worked on November 17th to install and calibrate the first 3D printer in space. The device is part of the 3D printing and zero-G technology demonstration to investigate establishing an on-demand machine shop in space to enable astronauts on long-duration missions to manufacture their own spare parts and hardware. Engineers at Langley Research Center recently tested a robotic contact and restraint system that could be used to capture a boulder off an asteroid, one of two options being considered by NASA for its asteroid redirect mission, which will move an asteroid mass to a stable orbit around the moon for study by astronauts in the 2020s. The demonstration used air-bearing devices, enabling the hardware to hover above the flat floor to simulate microgravity. A November 19th media day at Johnson Space Center about NASA's journey to Mars provided details on the Orion spacecraft and its flight test in early December, the asteroid redirect mission, advanced technology development activities, and other topics. The event was one of several planned at NASA centers around the country in support of the agency's journey to Mars activities. A huge robotic arm capable of transforming epoxy and carbon fibers into aerospace structures and parts was recently delivered to Langley Research Center. The robot, called Isaac, for integrated structural assembly of advanced composites, will be used initially for research on more timely and cost-effective development of advanced composites. Isaac will then be part of a NASA effort to design, build, test, and address flight certification of a large composite shell suitable for the second stage of the agency's new Space Launch System rocket. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.